Hi everyone! In this video you will learn about independent and dependent variables and scatter plots. In our lessons we will only focus on simple relationships where x is the independent variable and y is the dependent variable. x is the predictor and then y is the response. We have to construct a scatter plot for the data shown for car rental companies in the United States for a recent year. Before we can draw a scatter plot, a scatter plot is we need to determine first what is the x, what is the independent variables, and what is the y, the dependent variable. So what comes first? We first rent out cars and then we earn revenue. Or do we first earn revenue and then we're renting out cars? So what is the predictor? What is the response? Most of you will realize that first we have to rent out cars for us to earn revenue. So the response is the revenue. This input 63, 63 times 10,000. So this input really represents 600 30,000 will bring forth 7 billion revenue. So again, this input right here, 290,000 will bring forth a revenue of 3.9 billion. So again, this is the predictor and then this is the response. Once we realize what is on the x and what is on the y, so what is independent and dependent, we can draw our scatter diagram. Here you can see the scatter plot of our data. So the independent variables are cars and the dependent variables is revenue. Our scatter plot shows that there is a positive linear relationship between the amount of cars we rent out and the revenue we earn. Positive because as x goes up, y goes up. Linear because the points are very close to a line. By the way, in our chapter, we are focusing on linear relationships only. Let's do a quick recall. Some relationships are not linear. For instance, this here, when there's points going up and then coming back down, that would not be linear. Another way, um, like for instance, points that go up and then go up way quicker like that, that is also not linear. So in this case, again, it's a positive linear relationship between cars and revenue. In this example, we have to construct a scatter plot for the data obtained in a study on the number of absences and the final grades of seven randomly selected students from a statistics class. So first I have to think, what is the independent variable? So what is the x's? And then what are the y's? What are the values that depend on those x's? What comes first? What comes next? Does my final grade happen first? And then that influences the number of absences? Or does the number of absences come first? And that influences my final grade? What do you think? Most of you will realize that this is your x, this happens first. The more times you're absent for a class, probably the lower your grade is. So again, x is a predictor or an independent variable, and then y is the response or the dependent variable. With the number of absences on your x or independent variables, and then your final grade depending on the number of absences. From the scatter diagram, you can see that there is a negative linear relationship between the number of absences and your final grade. Negative because as x increases, y decreases, or your points are going down from left to right. And this is linear because the points keep going down. In this example, a researcher wishes to see if there is a relationship between ages of the wealthiest people in the world and their net worth. So it's already given to us that this is the x and this is the y. We don't have to think about it anymore. When we look at the scatter plot, we don't see a relationship between age and wealth. The points are randomly on the scatter diagram. 
So that means that there is no relationship between age and wealth. In this lesson, you have learned that the independent variables are the x's and the dependent variables are the y's. One last way to remember this is y is you and you are dependent on your parents. So this is dependent, you are dependent, and then this is independent. I hope this lesson was helpful. Thank you for watching.